Hi guys, welcome to this system. It's the ISO of um, Arconet. And all I have installed is think, I think it's just the default, right? No, nothing else but XFCE. Topic of the video is actually design. Is the feel, the look and the feel. Remember a few months ago, Archlinux had a major idea. Let's split the Qt5 from the Qt6 packages, which gives us, gave us lots of updates and also a few conflicts. The Quantum Qt5 and Quantum Qt6 were conflicting at some point and weren't in the beginning. And our Calamaris set Pac-Man conflicts here, so Calamaris stopped. So things like that are, well, Pac-Man, right? There are Pac-Man rules and who makes the rules? Users in their package builds. Let's start with the source. All right, you see I have PAMAC AOR installed. From time to time it works, then it doesn't, right? So it's not on the ISO anymore, but just type PAMAC AOR and you've got it again and install it. So Quantum Qt5 Git is what we've installed only on the net. Pro is a base pair system and Plasma is Plasma, right? That's more Qt5, well, related to, to Plasma. So let, let Plasma take care and certainly Plasma 6, let Plasma take care of the look. And if you need to, then you install it. So the Quantum Qt5 is, if we follow the link, coming from here. That's always interesting to know why, who makes it, why is it made. So Tushan, Tushan, right, has created these repositories. And there is a lot to be learned from information, I thought. <laughs> there is a wiki, that's something, nope. But there was a page where we could learn something from Quantum, unless we are here on the wrong page. I guess we are. It's an engine for QT and KDE. Ah, here is the page. So we have to go a little bit deeper, AKA Sushan. So that's basically that. All right, contact me here. And we got this screenshot to show all the designs that he has created. And maybe one of them you say, wow, that's the one I want, right? There's some theme making here, configuring theme. So there's more information than just me. What's more, if you type YouTube Arco Linux Quantum, I'm pretty sure I've made already a video about it. So, it's a changed look of an application, how to install Quantum for Manjaro, KDE Linux, it's all good, right? When you see this numbering system, you know it's mine, and otherwise you have a look at Linux Scoop, Linux Nemesis, Quantum, etc., etc., right? A lot of information. Same here, there is always the ArchWiki. This is now about KDE, but I'm guessing, let's see if I'm guessing right, Quantum could be the URL. Nope, it's not. So Quantum will be mentioned somewhere. Uniform, look for QT and GTK applications. That's one of the things that users, that's a frequent asked question, a fact. And I sent you here, it's like, go read the text, go grasp the differences between QT and GTK. And we try to make a uniform look. And yes, the two worlds, right? Separate worlds, GTK and QT. So you can set all kinds of things in here. Have a look. What we're going to do well, is first of all, have a look. There are a few applications on here, like Simple Screen Recorder, which is a great example. This is not the normal look, right? There is another one that I've installed, which is Super F7. 
that's virtual box that's also not the normal look so these guys are the ones that are not behaving if you don't have quantum now we have on we've decided to put the quantum qt5 on our machines on the net just the net arconet but we never installed the arconex quantum configuration so this is an old one well not an old one this is the one i made this morning but there is something called sudo python minus s arconex and then quantum now i was thinking of changing the name for sure and cleaning everything up right so arconex quantum git should become quantum qt5 git and the theme mark let's see if it's still necessary i don't think it is because look at what i've installed that's installed and that's it right the quantum qt5 git is now on the machine of dotnet that's it is there anything arconex for quantum there isn't there's the key ring there's no k for the rest so we decided to start off in arconet and see and uh, wait until uh, the dust settles to know okay where where is quantum going now without quantum active we've got this look right that's the look it's maybe not bad but it's not similar it's not the arc look it's not the same coloring system than this one super f7 virtual box it's again not bad but it's not fitting inside this the theme and the style that we have right so by default this is your look getting it back the look most of us will probably know but the quantum manager is the one that manages your things you can manage it by theme completely in everything or you can manage it by application and just say simple screen recorder virtual box manage it by application but the easiest way is, is just to change the theme so select a theme is this one use this theme and the best thing is to take a look at this if you don't like this window well you won't like that one or that one either because we'll be white as well so we have our dark here use this theme and what happens in is we have a file that file is being changed okay that file each time i say i want to have ambiance you remember the name from ubuntu that was this orange kind of thing Here's another arc dark. So there are two arc darks and they're not the same, right? Different packages, different look. This look or that look. One, two, three, they're different. So choose what you like. Each time it changes. And even then you can say, this is the global theme. Even then I can say, well, I kind of like KV dark red, for example, and it should be applied to the simple screen recorder, right? You need to type and figure out the name of your application that's not behaving, and then this happens. Okay, so when I close the application and I reopen the application, we get this. It's the red thing. KV, quantum, and dark red. Uh -huh. So that's how it works. And one last thing I have to tell you. So I don't like this. So I just go into inside the file and I say bye bye. Okay. And save. So next time around, everything is back as it was. So this one as well virtual box super 7 is back how i like it any all the looks everywhere all applications are nice and fine 
And there's one last thing we have to tell you in the file system, etc environment file is something that might be of interest to you if you start theming. There are two lines in here that you might consider in removing. We say QT, QP, uh, QPA, right? A platform theme is an application called QT5CT. So it is actually something to set your look. QT5CT is this application where you can set some elements in here and decide some fonts and icon themes, etc. etc. Right? And he says here information overwrite is current values quantum. Please remove it. So that's what we're gonna test out now is whether we're gonna change things up here in the environment um, well file and see what we'd like to have and then decide on it, repackage everything and put it on the next ISO. But in the meantime, right, you can have a look. Where are all my parameters? Where are my files? What can I do? Where is the Arch Wiki to read more? Etc. It's all now in this video. So that's it for me. Um, also, this this guy, right, Pamic AOR, it follows the nice design, and that's the point. This color and that color, it's all same. It's all gray, it's all arc, and it's looking awesome. There's no wallpaper. <laughs> Old and the variety is kicking in, and there he is. All right. That's it for me. <clears throat> Use Quantum to set everything right. Check the page to know more and read more. I'll do exactly the same thing. We should read more, right? Lots of things. Here is a reference to something that we've installed just on the net, right? All the rest is up to you. Pro is Sherlock Holmes, is Bear, is Base. You figure it out. You decide what you take. All right? Cheers.